is what all the pretty little jewels look like. And what I'm going to do is to show you how to make them. This is a drying rack that I've set up. And the reason that I did that is because, I'll try to show you one. Um, you see that one? It says healing the soul. Um, what I had done is I had drilled a hole through there. And the first batch I used didn't work very well. Um, let me show you the brand that I used. I have had this work okay for me for two pours, but now do not use this because it came out very sticky and tacky. So I got a new brand and this is what I picked up at the Michaels. It's a Deco Art Dura Clear Varnish. It's a brilliant gloss and that's how I took the ones that were messed up and I corrected them. So that um, I was able to fix them and make them the way they're supposed to be. Nice and shiny, nice and hard, not tacky, and uh, ready to be drilled and put onto a necklace or a bracelet. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll cut around the image like so. And I'll take my quarter so, and I'll just put it over the image. And now, we just want to cut around a little bit over the edge. I made it too big there. See, that's kind of uneven. So I'm just going to shift it down and try to cut it again. It went even all the way around, obviously. A nice circle. right in there like that so I'm going to take it out take our goop pour our goop inside swish it around place our image in it get our toothpick and get out all the air bubbles Make sure you pop the air bubbles. More goop. Everything's nice. And then you just take it and then you put it down here. So we're in your drawing area. So I have a whole bunch of ones here. Put it right there. Okay, that's it. And here's the easy way. Just line it up. Let's see. Get them in the store, I don't know. Seven, ten bucks. Put it over your pitcher and then just punch it out. Sometimes it doesn't give a very even edge. This one did because I just sharpened it, okay? Um, you can do a lot more this way than doing it with the cutting around the quarter. And uh, if you got kids, this would be an easier way for the kids 
Kids can do this a lot easier. All right. They say to keep these things sharp, that you go like this. And cut some tin foil. I find that these really don't stay very sharp very long, so um, they can be good for certain papers and not so good for others. So just uh, try what you do. I just want to show you this with the whole puncher. You can see how it's rough on the edge. So all I do is I come out here and I'll just make that a nice little circle. That's all I do. Now it's a circle. Now it'll fit in really nice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start with this one here. And what I'm going to do is take out the piece of paper, take some of this varnish, I'm just going to pour it in and twirl it around the inside like that so that all parts are coated. Now, I'm going to take the piece of paper, place it inside, and what I have here is just a toothpick. I take the toothpick and press it down. And you want to make sure that when you press it down, because you don't want to have any air bubbles underneath, just like so. Okay. And... Add a little bit more on top. And then slant it again. And I'm pressing it again to get out all the air bubbles. Sometimes after it sets for a few minutes, you have to press it down on the edges again uh, to make sure that you do have all the air bubbles up. Sometimes the paper will curl up on the edges and you have to press them down in the glue. Now I also have a little piece of paper here. And I'm using a pair of tweezers to pick it up. Maybe. <laughs> Just like so. Okay, the tweezers are not working, so. Um, I'm picking it up with the glue here on my toothpick and put it here. Um, but sometimes I do use tweezers and uh, just lay it in there like so. And I just took the piece of paper and I pressed it down there so it's in there. And try not to drop it, not when I caught. <laughs> Let's try another one. Uh, this one, I have um, two layers. Um, there is a clear plastic that has a word on it, redeem, and then a, a piece of paper that I cut out. So what I do with this one is start here, pour some in, just like so. Let it go around the edges, turning it so it gets in all the crevices. Then I Put the piece of paper in, just like so. Get rid of the air bubbles again. More of the varnish. Make sure it tilts it and get it all covered. You can help it along with uh, the uh, toothpick. Then I'm going to take my plastic piece that has uh, already written words out for my computer and press it there. You can see there's a big air bubble there. I'm just going to press it and the air bubble just squeeze out. And then I don't have enough varnish, I'll put more in and swirl it around. And that's how it's done.